Luna Bear, do you love your new toy? Oh my goodness. Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a fun little Christmas reading vlog. Today happens to be Christmas. It's actually nighttime already. It's after seven o'clock. I definitely wanna know for those of you that celebrate, what did you get? What was your favorite gift that you gave someone? And then what did you do for Christmas? My husband and I, the first year that we were married on Christmas, we ended up playing a Tomb Raider game. And so that's a little bit of a tradition for us is to at the very least play video games, but often play Tomb Raider games. <laughs> so today I had purchased the Shadow of the Tomb Raider game quite a while ago, but when we finally went to play it, the disc didn't work and I did not have a warranty on it or my receipt. So I couldn't return it, which was unfortunate, <laughs> but it was on sale on the PlayStation store. So we just went ahead and downloaded it and it's been quite fun. If you've not played those games, they're perfect for just, I just want to sit and derp not really think too hard or worry about uh, it being really difficult or anything like that. It doesn't really have a super strong story. It's more about the gameplay and it's a fantastic game to play with another person because they find the most creative ways to kill Lara Croft and it is highly entertaining. Definitely gets you in the <laughs> Christmas spirit. Obviously this Christmas looks very different for a lot of us, including myself. What we've been doing for quite a while is on Christmas Eve, usually we see my mom and then on Christmas day, we usually see my dad. Obviously that is not gonna happen <laughs> this year. So we have though had a very cozy Christmas and we have enjoyed it very much. I think enough time has gone by since he passed away that I was really nervous for how I was gonna feel over the holidays. I haven't slept well, but I wouldn't say I've been in a lot of pain or that I'm really depressed about it or anything. I think in general, it's it's almost, this is a stupid analogy, but it's almost like a scar at this point, right? The initial wound, that was of course what it was. It takes time to heal. But now it's it's still there. You still know it's there, that feeling of loss, but it's not as fresh, I guess is the best way to put it. So thankfully this Christmas has been quite lovely. Sean and Luna and I have just been hanging out and we already opened all of our presents. So that was extra fun. We do have tomorrow a little Zoom call with Sean's family and we're going to open our presents. And I was very impatient. I really wanted to open my present today, but I had to wait until tomorrow. Jumping into the reading portion, I'm planning on reading a little bit tonight before I go to bed and then trying to read as much as I can this weekend. I want to at least finish one book. Don't mind the used bookstore sticker, The Bear and the Nightingale. I have heard that this is a fantastic book, but also a perfect book to read for cozy, cold weather. So I'm really excited and it just it just seems like it's gonna be the perfect Christmas book to pick up. I'm going to enjoy the time I have this weekend for reading. We're playing Tarzan. <laughs> this is Jane. She just uh, fell out of a plane and is about to meet Tarzan. Oh no, she's on something. Oh! Yay! Oh, don't kick. Are you having a nice day, Lena? <laughs> Bless you. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
Living life. Look at this pause. I wonder if you could like tuck a little treat in her mouth. <laughs> Just in the flaps. That'd be really living the life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Was it nice? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Hi guys. So it's Saturday now, the next day after Christmas, and we did our little gift opening via Zoom and also played some online <laughs> Dominion. Funny enough, if you guys watched my Christmas shop with me video, I had said I bought my mom a heated blanket and that it was black and white, kind of a plaid checkered pattern. And <laughs> my husband's mom and dad got me the exact same heated blanket. So now my mom and I both have that blanket. It's super cozy. I'll show you guys in just a second. But to the reading that I've been doing, 50 pages in, a lot of the things I've heard about this book are that it is Russian inspired. So I knew that much, which is true. It's essentially historical fiction, but with some fantastical elements woven in. And I think that the atmosphere of it is really fantastic. I can totally see why people recommend this, especially for the winter because you can just feel the cold. I have also heard this book is really slow and kind of dry. And there's a few things that I think contribute to that feeling, but I don't know if slow is necessarily the way I would put it. A decent amount of things are happening, but it's not necessarily extremely tied to a character or the plot. It's like you're being told a story because it's more omniscient currently. And I think a lot of modern family, fa family, that's a TV show. A, mo a lot of modern fantasy has a more deep third person point of view rather than a distant omniscient point of view. And that omniscient feel definitely contributes to the book not seeming as character driven because when it's third person deep, you're only really following a single character at a time. And you're only really getting their experiences in the story, how they're feeling at any one given time until you switch point of views. But I have enjoyed the experience. I definitely don't think it's fast paced. I don't think I'm constantly wanting to turn the page to see, oh my gosh, what happens next? Our characters are in danger or anything like that. It has this distance to it, but it's so atmospheric. It definitely really pulls you in. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm very eager to see what happens next. I feel like the story is only just starting to begin. So we'll see where it goes. I have high hopes. I've also heard that this first book is a little harder to get into and that the, the next books are chef's kiss perfection. So I think even if I don't fall head over heels for this one, that I'm as long as I don't hate it, I think I would still be interested in picking up the sequel. Sean is demonstrating for us in a merman-like state the comfort of this heated blanket. Very comfortable. How is it cute-wise? Is it cute? Extremely. And how are you liking those slippers I got you for Christmas? Let's I have see. one on and one off. <laughs> You're like a baby. <laughs> no, you have to come in. Do you want to go for a car ride? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yay. We are at the gas station. Sean is getting some snacks. Luna's hanging out with us. And we are gonna watch Castlevania. And we're gonna treat it like a movie night. So we're getting ourselves some treats. He'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, Luna Bear. He'll be back. We're a little out of tune right now. Singer A. Um, A. D. Yeah, I know. So we got our candy. We are home now. We were in a sour candy mood. I may or may not have already started eating mine in the car. Oh. You had it. What happened? Something went wrong. Oh. There it is. All right, starting. Woohoo! Whoa, what is underneath that? La Casa de las Flores. 
hi guys. So it's Sunday now and my husband and I on Sundays, we've tried to get into a routine of just being prepped for the week on Sunday. So often we stop by the store, masks of course, <laughs> and try to pick up some groceries for the week. That way we can do some meal prep. Just in general, try to get stuff done, do errands, those sorts of things. So I will be probably cleaning a little bit today and then reading, of course, I'll update you. So I'm about 100 pages now into The Bear and the Nightingale. And I just think that so far, it's a lot of exposition. I've just gotten to part two and I feel like those first 100 pages, it felt like a lot of setup. So lots of exposition thus far, but I'm excited to see where it goes from here. I don't think it's crazy to have a rough 100 page count for setup in a fantasy story, except that this book is pretty short. So 100 pages is a decent chunk of the book to be a lot of setup. I think it's just gonna be one of those books where the first one is good, but it establishes the rest of the story, but we'll see. Either way, I'm enjoying it very much so far, and I actually really like the writing. It is quite formal. It's not necessarily my usual, but it is very elegant. I like it quite a bit. Anyway, I'm going to get to reading some more and doing some chores around the house, jumping now into getting some other stuff done. So after I finished recording that little clip for you guys, I found <laughs> Luna Bear <laughs> in her chair. How you doing? Were you listening? Were you listening to me talk about a book? Maybe? You're just the cutest Luna Bear. So Sean's cousin is getting married today and we're join, joining via Zoom, but uh, you know, being hip and young, we know to mute ourselves, but the very sweet elderly folk do not. <laughs> and it's hilarious. Okay, you ready, pup? No. Where'd he go, Luna? <laughs> Where'd he go? Give him your toy. Thank you, Luna. I've got my heated blanket. I've got my book. I'm ready to do some reading. What are you reading then? I am reading The Dutch House. By reading, I mean I'm starting The Dutch, the Dutch House. <laughs> I've not started. I'm about to start. <laughs> That's a really good explanation. It's a really good explanation. Very clear and concise. Yes. Luna. Luna Bear. What are you reading? Are you chewing on a sticky crown? It was, I think, written really well, and I think that it absolutely is very atmospheric. Basically, a lot of the things that I've heard about this book I think are accurate and true. The folklore elements are amazing. It absolutely makes you feel super cold. <laughs> the way that the author writes atmosphere is phenomenal. But because of the writing style, I just don't know if it's ever going to be a favorite for me just because I am so character driven of a reader that I don't know, I end up not feeling very connected. I think it would make a great, great mini series and I'm interested to see where the sequels go because this read like a standalone, I have very conflicted feelings. Overall, I would highly recommend this for if it's cold out where you're living and just in general when it's cold, I absolutely would recommend it then. If you've ever read the book Burial Rites, which is not a similar premise at all, but it has that same feeling, you just feel so cold and everything just seems so bleak, I feel like this has a similar feeling to that book. 
But anyway, I hope the end of your year is going well. It's definitely been very nice for us. I'm excited for the new year. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.